Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car in Moab, Utah. And that is the Jeep Wrangler Mojo. It's a concept loaded up with lots of interesting little goodies, most of which you can actually purchase through Jeep. They hired a professional stunt driver. He lives on caffeine and Pez candy. Nathan, he's not a pro. <laughs> nice Jeep though. You dissect Mojo, the OJ in, uh, in Mojo is for Orange Jeep. So we have an Orange Jeep here. Um, we've done some cool things with, uh, with graphics as well. Uh, we have a topographical map that we've showcased here. Again, things that we want to feed into the Jeep Performance Parts catalog. Uh, this happens to be Auburn Hills that we have uh, on here, uh, playing a little tribute to where our headquarters is at. You see a, a lot of fenders in the aftermarket um, that, that raise the fenders up to allow for a larger tire. Uh, more articulation. These happen to be happen to be 37 inch tires on here. It has a Jeep Performance uh, wheel that we've developed, beadlock wheel as well. But what we wanted to do with the fenders is retain the factory look of, of Wrangler fender. Again, you know, you see those fenders and they, they look added on and don't look well integrated. This allowed us to get three more inches of clearance, but it looks like it's it was meant to be there. And that is the intent with all of these, all of the Wranglers that we've, we've brought here. Depending on the skill level of the customer, um, something that they can do very easily just by, by ordering the pieces from the, from the catalog. Yeah, so the headlights are, uh, are Jeep Performance parts that we're going to be offering as well. They're LED headlights. Um, fantastic. Uh, uh, um, functionality at night. Yeah, they look kind of mean. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to do things that obviously have a little bit of attitude to them. How about the bumper and the built-in winch? Is that something that's out of the catalog as well? Uh, yeah, this, this uh, bumper is our 10th anniversary Rubicon bumper. We've removed the ends on it and uh, we have a worn winch that included with that. So how much would a Jeep like this cost? I mean, let's say you get, you know, you get it off the shelf and then you go and put all these parts on it. How much more would that add to the price of this? Oh, uh, that is a good question. good question that I probably don't even want to speculate on. I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> Nathan, 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 this is bright. What is this thing called? This is the Jeep Wrangler Mojo concept. Why Mojo? Because it's got good juju. Okay, it's OJ is in Mojo. Oh yeah, that's OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <laughs> All right, well, oh, I'll say, you, you say good juju, I'll say OJ. Okay. All right? All right. <laughs>Nathan, out of all the Jeeves here, this one, well, this one looks like it needs a little butt vase. You know, this lemonade yellow Jeep. What? Yeah, it's very this feminine. This is a really cool looking Raiders of the Lost Ark ready vehicle. I have no idea what you're talking about. And Jeep didn't name this color, so I've decided to name it. Call it Lawrence. Uh, T.E. Lawrence, Lawrence Arabia. Bah, right there. You are preaching to the wrong choir, dude. Oh, dude, you don't even know who watches. Lemonade yellow. Lemonade no. Yes. And that is coming up next on the fast lane car. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's cool, guys.